Didn't see you dudes there. Hello, everybody. This is Strange Gamer back to kick off the quarterfinal round for the Lightning, Lightning Assault, Assault Tournament. Tournament. Yes, we're getting into it now. Well, we got three lovely quarterfinal matchups to go, go through. Starting us off with the Arhinoceratops going up against Maxa Maxa Maximus. Diaceratops taking on the Alpha Chasmosaurus. And then we will conclude this video with Alpha Ineosaurus going up against Eucentrosaurus. So I hope you're all looking forward to that. Let's get on with our first matchup of the quarterfinal round. Oh, <laughs> hey, my headphones weren't plugged in then. <laughs> I was like, there's no sound. Right, anyway, in the red corner, we got a Rhinoceratops. A Rhinoceratops came from behind in its ma in its first round victory against the Udanoceratops. I think it's Udanoceratops. Well, it's Udanoceratops now. Anyway, in the blue corner, we've got Maximash. Maximus looking to follow Armatus's footsteps there to win his own mini tournament. Maximus was pretty solid in the opening in its opening match against Mini King. Although Mini King did push it. Did push it, so. We could be in for an even match here. Either that or one of these two will sweep, like in the last video where he, Although that, that, that match was easy. Anyway, enough, enough wiggling about that matchup. And oh look, they both got defense first. Could be we could be in for a long one here, folks. They both got defense firsts. But it's a Rhinoceratops starting off with a crit. The attack boost coming in there and the electric charge. A Rhinoceratops is all about powering itself up. The mobster of the lightning dinosaurs, because it got our golden horn. Ooh, getting off the defense first is a very good start from a Rhinoceratops. Maximus on the ropes. There's the defense boost as well. Maxing up the attack boost. Well, it doesn't matter at this point because one hit's going to kill Maximus anyway. Can Maximus strike back? Well, at least he lands damage. At least it landed damage. He needs a crit, really. But he's not going to get it. Or maybe he'll get it. One last chance, maybe, to get the hit. No, there he is. A Rhinoceratops starting strong, taking a 1 0 lead against Maximus. And yes, this will be this will still be a best out of three. Winner will go through, loser will go home. And at the minute, it is a Rhinoceratops 1 0 up. But that can all change as we move on to round two. Ooh, round two, we're in like a desert field. Can a Rhinoceratops continue its winning momentum, or will Maximus finally get going? Come on, Maximus, get, a, get at least one hit on the board. I have had quite the hectic day today. But I've just come back from taking the dog out. <laughs> Little Miss Stubborn. I've been down to the post office to post some stuff to lovely people who bought my stuff. And that was a hassle, so I because they, they wouldn't accept my letters if it was too big, so now i got to go back here tomorrow. But anyway, back to the match. Enough about strangers. Enough about the day in the life of strangers. Maximus finally getting a hit on the board, getting off that lightning spear. Can Maximus pull this back? Oh, well. He's, makes it, he's making max use of his momentum so far. Get it? Could he Maximus? <laughs> Oh, I love them. I love them. Whatever I just did there. Boosh! Defense boost coming in as well. Can a Rhinoceratops land a hit? Oh, well. Another tie. Couple of ties here. Can Maximus get the, Can Maximus get the job done? Ooh, a Rhinoceratops again, a crit. Can a Rhinoceratops turn this around to win to Wow. That did no damage. That was his crit. Like, these lightning dinosaurs are so well balanced. It's astonishing. Ooh. And all of a sudden, a Rhinoceratops on the brink of winning. Can he take out Maximus and finish the job? Wow, we could be in. Well, we could actually have a tie, yeah? <laughs> oh, oh, hang on, we might have a tie. Look at this! What a tightly contested second round! Oh, and it's ended in a goal! 
Well, a rhinoceratops coming from behind there to stop Maximus from even in the score. Well then, you know what that means? Since that was a tie, a rhinoceratops will stay 1-0 up and we move on to round three. And I should point out that before we start round three, if Maximus wins, then we will have a deciding round. If a rhinoceratops wins, then a rhinoceratops will obviously go through. And if it's another draw, then a rhinoceratops will go through. So Maximus needs to win this ra next round to stay in the contest. Well, we could be in for a really tight spectacle here after that tie, which I did not expect because Maximus, Maximus was steamrolling the rhinoceratops, but a rhinoceratops came fighting back and hung on to take the draw. Well, who's gonna win this match? I, I, well, I, I actually know it. Oh, I'm hoping it'll be either a draw or Rhinoceratops. <laughs> oh, we start with a tie. We finished the last round with a tie, and we started this one with a tie. And it's a Rhinoceratops continuing that strong momentum we had in the last round. Getting off the first hit. And a defense boost as well. Does not bode well for Maximus. Oh, and attack boost as well. Oh, and electric charge to boot. <laughs> A Rhinoceratops there, powering up, ready for the big KO. But will it land the big KO? Though? That's the question. Can Maximus fight back? Oh, Maximus gets a hit. Getting off his own defense boost. Getting the Strufio rush going as well. Slippy, slippy, slap, slap. Boosh. But a Rhinoceratops strikes back. That attack boost is going to be max. And wow, that defense boost did nothing. And an electric charge. A Rhinoceratops has maxed up in power. And is one hit away from winning. But well, Maximus was in this situation last round and didn't take advantage. Will a Rhinoceratops do the same? Or will he finish the job this time? Unlike Maximus. Oh, there's a tie. <laughs> Bit of tongue twisting myself then. Ooh, Maximus getting the next hit. Not done yet. Landing that lightning spear. I don't know why I gave it lightning spear. Hey, lightning dinosaurs are hard to pick, pick moves for, right? Because only Chomp has freaking lightning moves. You must stupid. Well, can Maximus do this? Can, can he come back? Oh, that's a tie. All a Rhinoceratops needs now is a tie. I don't think this is going to end in a draw. Oh, instead, Maximus is going to even things up. Which is kind of not what I wanted, because you know what that means. we got to do another round. Oof. Maximus is clinging on here. Maximus clinging on in this tournament. Even in the score. So you know what that means? It all comes down to this next round. Well, round four between these two. It has been such a close match. Like, just when I thought one of them was going to win, the other one comes back and wins. <laughs> but it could all come down to this. The winner goes through and the loser goes home. And please, not another draw. If it's another draw, then I'm just... Can I just declare them both winners? <laughs> Maximus landing the first hit. That doesn't bode well for it. Given that, other than, other than round one, the dinosaur that has got off the first hit has gone on to lose. Oh, well, ended in a draw, so. <laughs> Come on, Rhinoceratops. You've got the next hit. The attack boost is coming. So we get, oh, we get an electric charge as well. Power up time for a Rhinoceratops. Well, I tell you what, leave a like for this epic match. This is what it's all about. Proper tournament matches. Neither side giving an inch. Both going at it. Hammer and tongs. Which one has enough fuel left in the tank to get the job done? Well, so far, it's going to be a Rhinoceratops. Oh, yeah, I think. Is that, wait, is that it? That might. Oh, that's it! 
the stacked attack boost and electric charge combo, paying dividends for a Rhinoceratops, and he finally, on the fourth attempt of asking, gets the job done. And unfortunately for Maximus, they will not be following Armatus' footsteps in winning Aero Mini Tournament. A Rhinoceratops could be one to watch in this tournament. Could it be a dark horse? He's fruit to the semi-finals, and we are about to find out who his next opponent's going to be. The next matchup, we are going to see a Diceratops going up against the Alpha Chasmosaurus. Right, Dio then, in the red corner, we have the Diceratops, or Nidoceratops as it's known now, because Diceratops no longer exists. This dinosaur is responsible for ending the Zooniceratops in the first round, which was disappointing because I wanted Zooniceratops to win. <laughs> but oh well, in the blue corner, we have the Alpha Chasmosaurus. Now this Alpha Chasmosaurus was quite convincing in its first round win. Will it be convincing again? Actually, I don't remember which one was convincing. I think it was Diceratops actually that won 2 0. And this guy was 2 1. But it still was convincing enough to get through. Ooh, I, I don't know. I, I think the Chasmosaurus is going to win. Place, place your bets. Place your bets. Okay, bets are taken over. Chasmosaurus got off an opening crit. <laughs> that might change a few minds, won't it? Ooh, but the Diceratops lands a lightning spear. Seen quite a lot of lightning spears in this video, aren't we? Chasmosaurus there, getting impaled. Decent damage dealt, but the counter blitz has been triggered. Ooh, and Chasmosaurus gets off the counter blitz. He's allowed to attack even though he lost. see some lightning moves. Maybe I should use more than one like super move, but I, I want to use like every, like multiple diverse move cards. You know, so we don't see the same ones over and over and over. Gets a bit repetitive then, doesn't it? Of course, with super moves, that can't be up. There's only so many. <laughs> but we're seeing plenty of lightning spears. Chasmosaurus getting hit the gear. Wow, this has been a back and forth contest so far. The Diceratops does have the slight lead. But one hit from Chasmosaurus will end this round in his favour. And I've just noticed Diceratops has such a small crest. Really small crest, isn't it? And is about to die because the Chasmosaurus gets off the banana surprise. Boosh! And takes out the Diceratops. Boosh! Roar! A fine victory there for the Alpha Chasmosaurus. Well, I end a victory yet because he's still got to win one more round. But he's on course to win. But do not count Diceratops out yet. After all, he took out the OP Zuniceratops. Can he turn this around in round two? Right, round two between these two. Can the Diceratops even the score? And oh, oh oops. <laughs> I used Gavro for the boat for the Chasmosaurus. Whoopsie daisy. Silly me. Yes, it's a mirror match. That sounds creepy. Just saying. I just had a thought come into my head. I'm not going to say what it is in case I get demonetized, but I don't get monetization anyway, so it doesn't matter, but you know what I mean. Alright, back to the match, back to the match. We start with a tie. I believe Diceratops is tie defense type, so multiple ties will favor it. But it's the Chasmosaurus landing that banana surprise. It finished the Diceratops off in round one. And it does a decent amount of damage here. Chasmosaur is on course to win 2 now. But as I said, do not count Diceratops out yet. It can still turn this around. Okay, yes, it is tied defense type. Multiple ties, as I said, favor the Diceratops. But that favors the Chasmosaurus. Okay, yeah, yeah, I think Chasmosaurus is going to win because. Even if the Diceratops gets the next hit, Counter Blitz will probably get triggered. And that will be the nail in the coffin. So yeah, I think Diceratops is done. Yeah, there it is. Cat 
Alpha Kazmasaurus a dominant display yet again. And yet again, it's a 2-0 win for the Alpha Kazmasaurus. Again, like the Rhinoceratops, could he be one to watch in this tournament? Right the old then. On to our third and final match of this session, which sees the Alpha Ineosaurus going up against Eucentrosaurus. Okay then, in the red corner, we have the Alpha Ineosaurus, which looks absolutely beautiful. Kind of looks like a bird Alpha Dinosaur, to be honest. Because the Alpha Dinosaurs are usually more pinkish than this, and this dude just looks burnt. But, burnt or not, it definitely caused a surprise result in round one, defeating the Taurosaurus, so it's not to be trifled with. In the blue corner, we have one of the Centrosaurid brothers in this tournament, the Eucentrosaurus. The yellow, the yellow, the yellow one. <laughs> Actually, yeah, we got like multiple, we got the red one, we got the yellow one, and we got the black one. Which, which Centrosaurid is your favourite? Pop a comment down below. Ooh, you Ineosaurus starting off with the opening hit, but again, all its powers in the crypt, the counter blitz has been triggered as well. So I suspect the Centrosaurus will get the next hit. And he does! Wait, what? Oh! Well, he doesn't get the next hit. Instead, the Ineosaurus is getting off an Alpha Dart! Okay, Alpha Dart OP, Nerf Alpha Dart. Who friggin' goes for counter blitz? Who friggin' enter the Allosaurus knee? Rubbish! Oh my god, he killed it! <laughs> what was that? Oh, we're gonna have to get some officials in. Controversy in round one there. The Alpha Ineosaurus ignoring that counter blitz. He don't care about counter blitz. He just do does not care. Oh well, that was quick, wasn't it? Poor Eucentrosaurus. He's like, yeah. I gotta get the next hit here with my counter blitz and Ineosaurus is like, nope. Can you Centrosaurus get some revenge in round two? Let's find out. Oh, here comes our Alpha Ineosaurus boy. This boy does not does not like counter blitz. This boy ignores counter blitz. Ineosaurus OP. <laughs> okay, let's see if you Centrosaurus can actually get a hit here. Oh, nope, nope, here it comes again, the most OP move in the game. It's an Alpha Dart. What will it land on this time? Oh, it's the Alpha Droid again. Bonk! Oh, oh, Counter Blitz has been triggered, but we all know that Alpha Dart will go through that Counter Blitz. Okay, well, he's not going to go through Counter Blitz this time. Oh, nope, nope, he is. <laughs> Ineosaurus just does not care about counter blitz. He just does not care about counter blitz. He's like, nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, this is br this is actually a brilliant match. Oh, oh, oh. Well, um. Okay, I. Eucentrosaurus could still be in this. As long as the dart lands on the stuffed toy. Oh, it does! The luck dessert in Ineosaurus there. Counter Blitz has been triggered, but, well, it's basically useless against this guy because he just does not care about Counter Blitz. He's like, no, I don't care. Ooh, ooh, we got a tie. Finally, the uh, Eucentrosaurus lands some form of damage. Oh, don't, don't do this to me now, random the Regenerator. This match is epic. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? Yes, the random little regenerator out of fart, and Eucentrosaurus has literally just died instantly. <laughs> well, a very, very, very controversial and convincing 2 0 win for the Alpha Ineosaurus, and what a way to end these matches. Right, time to look at the bracket, and then we can end the session. Well, this could be an interesting semi-final matchup. We got a Rhinoceratops going up against Alpha Chasmosaurus. Alpha Chasmosaurus has been dominant in its matches so far, whereas a Rhinoceratops has sort of had to grind his opponents down. So yeah, could be it could be an interesting matchup this one. And well, we'll have you'll have to wait and see who Alpha Ineosaurus will face. But I suspect whoever they face might be getting a bit nervous after that impressive display of 
memes and rubbish against the Eucentrosaurus, who kind of sucked in that match, didn't it? <laughs> I don't even think it got a hit, but yep, yeah, that is how it goes sometimes. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, stay tuned for next time, where we conclude the quarterfinal round with our three remaining matches. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.